Hey everyone, it's Paul Bertarelli reporting from the Aircraft Electronics Association show in Dallas where uh, Aspen is introducing a new product and thank the baby Jesus it's not another ADS-B box. This is a new angle of attack indicator that we're flying here in the Cirrus. And uh, most of the angle of attack indicators that we've seen have been based on two principles. One is a vane type indicator, which is used in larger aircraft, and the other is a pressure pitot type system. But uh, James Buck of Aspen here is going to explain that this one's entirely different. It's uh, based on software and uh, really energy sensing. Is that correct? Correct. So we we'll use uh, the, the inherent accelerometers in the Aspen, in the Aspen uh, displays to come up with a derived AOA and uh, we think it's much more accurate than the, the typical vane type AOA as you see with using pressure on the outside. So uh, basically how does it work? How does it know, uh, how does it derive what the uh, angle of attack actually is? So it uses it uses indicated airspeed, pitch roll, um, um, GPS track angle and that's, it, uses, it uses that um, and der derives what the angle of attack is. Um, and it's the really interesting thing about our product is uh, this was designed by Chira, uh, which is uh, the equivalent of the Italian Space Agency, um, who did a lot, did a lot of the, uh, the groundwork for us on this. And uh, let's talk a little bit about the display. So uh, we've got some B-roll here showing the display. You've got you've got two a two-segment display. One shows the uh, energy state or angle of attack for flaps up, and the other for flaps down. So let's explain what those needles are doing. Okay, so so you so basically you have two different you know the, you have basically two different wings. You have the flaps up clean wing, and you have the, you have the full flaps the dirty wing. Um, so our, our system is very sensitive to, to both to both uh, setups. Um, so basically, if you're flying around in, your, in, in the landing pattern you're, before you configure, you're using the left side of the needle, or the, le the left side of the display, which is the flaps up. It's clearly marked flaps up. We've also got the right triangle with the needle pointed up. Um, and then if you're in an intermediate stage, you use, the, you use the space in between the two needles. And then when you're full flaps down, you use the right side. And uh, we have three colors there. We have red, yellow, and green. And those are fairly obvious. How do they relate to the actual angle of attack? Okay, so the blue right, the blue is a very small area at the bottom. That we just have that, so we don't want you to pop up in the display to pop up in the green. So it's just kind of a, a, you know, you've got plenty of lift in that blue range, but it's just kind of a precursor to let you know you're coming towards the optimum. And the green range is basically based on VSO times 1.3, depending on the aircraft, and it's got like a plus or minus three to four knots, also depending on the aircraft and the calibration of the green. And that's typically where you want to keep those needles in the configuration. That's where you want to be. That's your optimum. You've got plenty of lift. That's where you want to be. The yellow range is determined is telling you that you're approaching your stall margin. You really don't want to be. You know, we, we want to make sure pilots know we don't want you flying in the yellow. We don't want you comfortable flying in the yellow. You should keep the, those needles in the green. Um, so if you're scanning around, you see the needle in the, in the yellow, you need to reduce the angle of attack. Um, and then, of course, the red one, um, the red one is right up there towards the stall. Um, so if you're flying in the red, um, you're pretty much close at the stall at that point. So what really, we what really want to tell the customers is, yeah, you've got this yellow range. Don't feel comfortable flying in the yellow. You need to be in the green. If you see the needle, so you're doing your peripheral scan, you see the needle in the yellow, you need to control your angle of attack to get yourself in the green. And on the PFD, it displays only in those circumstances where you would want angle of attack. Correct. Which in this airplane is a speed range of what? Um, it should come, it basically should come on around 100, 100 knots or so. And like I said, the green range is right around 77 plus or minus two to three knots. Uh, in the case of an accelerated stall, will it instantly pop up? Yeah, it'll pop up depending on how, how accelerated you are. You know, but it, it may or may not help. You know, it should help you. It just if you, some, I've seen some accelerated stalls in the military where it's it's instantaneous. And uh, can this be retrofitted to previous uh, versions of the Aspen? Oh yeah, this is easy software. It's an easy software upgrade. Uh, basically, your mechanic, you know, your shop would get, have a little car, car and do the install. Um, there's some parameters you have to set up. You have to set up your um, your VSO times 1.3, and then um, your maneuvering speed needs to be plugged in. Then you also plug in your basic empty weight, your max gross weight, and you have to do your calibration weight because that all comes into factor as well during the calibration process. And do we have a price on this yet? Um, I do not know if we have a price on that yet. Okay, so uh, when the price becomes available, uh, we'll let you know. I'm sure it'll be on Aspen's website. Yep. Okay, James, thanks for the demonstration, and to Scott Smith in the back for helping me shoot. This is Paul Bertarelli reporting from AEA at Dallas. Thanks for watching.